Good morning. Happy Monday. We are doing a week in my life this week. Oh my God, I never changed the clocks. So it says that it's 7.45, but it's 8.45. It's 8.45, I have Pilates at 9.30, which means I need to be out this door in no less than 15 minutes, or no more than 15 minutes, whatever. I am starving. I went to bed last night, like at 9 p.m. because I was exhausted. And I could not fall asleep until like 11 because I was so hungry. But I don't know, I was like, it's too late to eat. Like, I don't know, I just didn't eat last night even though I was starving, which I don't know, once it hits a certain point, I'm like, I'll just go to bed and deal with it in the morning. I wish I ate last night though because now I'm literally starving. Yeah, so I'm making a quick slice of avocado toast before I go to Pilates. And I'll show you guys the secret to the best avocado toast. Um, I'm also wearing like a real set of pajamas right now. And I have to say, it feels amazing. I feel like I really have my life together. And they're from Parade. And I really, really like them. It makes me want to order more. What I put in my avocado toast other than avocado, the secret is honestly lemon pepper. I really like zesty avocado toast. So I do lemon pepper. I'm also going to add in a dollop of olive oil because I want some more fats to keep me fuller a little bit longer because I have Pilates and then I have a meeting with one of my instructors and then I have a painter coming in to give me a quote for the studio and then I have to run to Aaron so I won't get back here until this afternoon and I need to be a little satiated I'm also gonna bring an orange with me and I just decided that right now as I looked at them but I'm gonna bring an orange with me too so that I can have a snack and I don't know why but like I don't give myself enough time in the morning to like eat i don't know i'm not always hungry in the morning but this morning i am hungry also i have to go pick up my birth control i always get so, so the last three months i have been really bad at picking up my birth control and so i've always missed like i start mine on a sunday but today's monday and i didn't take it last night because i didn't go pick it up that's one of the errands i have to I have to go to the bank and i have to go pick up my birth control anyway I always get really nauseous when I don't start my birth control when I'm supposed to. So I'm like a little nauseous right now. Nothing that food won't fix though. And I also had coffee on an empty stomach, which I shouldn't have done. Um, I woke up at six this morning to get stuff done. And this is like very reminiscent of like 2018, 2019 Tori, like this morning routine that I did this morning. Wake up early, get right to work, and then go to a workout at 9.30. And then you add a little balsamic glaze. And then you have this perfect piece of avocado toast. I got to the world's quickest skincare. So it, I don't know why I'm like this. But I literally woke up at 6 a.m. and somehow I'm rushing for something at 9.30. Like I technically had three hours to get ready for this and I'm just rushing, but that's fine, whatever. So I'm going to Pilates at Stride, which is my studio. <laughs> I'm trying to take Pilates every Monday morning. Someone said that, well, a lot of people say this, but when I heard it, someone was like, if you don't wear sunscreen, your whole entire skincare routine is a waste so true so i'm putting on super glow oh no glow screen by super goop did not like that in this, but it's fine okay i have all that stuff that i listed to do today and then tonight i teach spin at 5 30 but i have another quote for a different painter coming to the studio at 4 15 so I have 415 quote, teach spin, and then I'm meeting with two of my employees after that. Um, so probably won't get back home until like later tonight. But in the middle of my day, I just have to edit stride at home videos. We'll see how many I get done. I was out oh last week I was traveling in Idaho, so I didn't get a ton. Like I had I didn't get to edit the videos last week. So I have quite the buildup. I have 13 videos and not all of them will get uploaded this week you guys are really gonna see the epitome of Pennsylvania weather because right now it's in like the 30s 
but it's gonna be like 70 on Friday and then tomorrow and the rest of the week it's gonna be in the 60s. Okay, okay. I'll catch you guys at the studio. I am so hungry. It's one, I've been running errands after the studio. And now my car needs gas. And it's like literally the last thing I wanna do. You know, I have to tell you guys something that I'm not embarrassed to admit. And it's that I eat a salmon bowl every single day for lunch. You know, it is honestly so freaking good. It is the best invention ever. Emily Mariko was onto something and she still is. It is so good. Um, so I make it every day with my air fryer. Normally my frozen, normally my salmon is frozen. Oh my god, I thought someone was knocking at the door. It was literally me. Oh my god, I'm the most antisocial person ever. If anyone knocked on my door, I just would never answer it, to be honest. What was I saying? I normally do it frozen, but I actually got groceries delivered this morning. Um, I only had like a couple things delivered. But salmon was one of them. The best thing ever is going into your inbox and not having any emails. I don't know, the euphoria that I feel from that is just out of this world insane. So it's just amazing. But I have a couple minutes while my salmon is being made. So I'm just going to make my bed, tidy up a little bit, unload the dishwasher. Guys, I don't know what it is, but I have literally been like, oh God, bouncing off the freaking walls with energy lately. And I have absolutely no idea why. Um, last week I was away in the great state of Idaho. Um, long story short, my son lives out there, very random for my family to do that, but that's where they all migrated to. Anyway, so we were out there in Idaho. When I got back, so we got back late Tuesday night, so like almost a week ago, um, but when we got back, I woke up early on Wednesday morning with like both eyes like jolted open and I just have not been able to get rid of this energy since. I'm just bouncing off the freaking walls these days. So much energy and you know what? It's because I honestly think that I have the most energy when I don't take my birth control and I just had to pick up my birth control so I'm about to take it again. And I'll tell you what, I really don't want to. Um, I'm also, I don't, know, I don't know, like I'm nervous to go off my birth control though at the same time because when I like went off of my birth control, um, well actually, you know what, let me rephrase that. When I started this new birth control that I'm currently on right now, my gut and stomach responded really, really well to it. Like I just, I don't know, like my whole stomach gut thing worked itself out. There were also other factors in my life that started going well once I like started this new birth control. So, like, don't get me wrong, there could be a million reasons why things are, like, going well in my stomach. But I do worry a little bit if it is contributed to the birth control. I don't know. However, I don't even know why I was talking. Oh, I have so much energy, and I feel like a lot of it has to do because I am not on birth control at the moment um, until tonight when I have to start my pill again. But anyway, besides the point, um, I just have so much freaking energy and I don't know what to do with it. I've never had this much, this much energy in my life. Do you hear that? That's a train. I also just have this horrible habit right now of multitasking. Not even multitasking. I am just so scatterbrained. If you guys listen to my podcast episode from March 14th, which is actually today, um, but it's the episode that's called How to declutter your mind you will literally hear that i am just totally scatterbrained the entire episode and i just keep switching topics and switching tasks because that's just like my brain is literally just going a mile a minute this past week and a half and it just won't shut up i can't turn it off i cannot believe myself i really can't um so i had 13 videos to edit for straight at home and sometimes the audio loves to play with me but all videos were well not all of them but nine of them were working really well so um i have nine videos that i just edited wait actually one two three four five six seven eight oh wait oh i still have one more that's why so let's see if that one does it for me too but um i can't believe it that i've literally done all of these videos in an hour and like 10 minutes actually it's been less than an hour i 
am just so impressed with myself. Depending on how many videos we have, if the audio is like messed up and it wants to play, I'll just like scratch the video. Otherwise, if we have like five videos for that week or something like that, I will typically try and like work it out. But because I have eight that worked perfectly, three did not work. So I'll probably just scratch those three um, or I'll revisit them another day because I just don't have time this afternoon. But I need to do these dishes and quickly change and then head over to the studio. But I seriously feel like on top of the world right now because I did all of these videos so quickly and they barely had any issues with them it has been like such a dream i honestly did not think i'd get any of these done today um i thought like i'd get maybe three done but it's been a dream so i can have all these exporting once i go to the studio i literally can't believe i edited nine videos in an hour it is truly incredible this is honest to god what dreams are made of hillary duff had no idea what she was talking about because this is it yay now i just get to have a great rest of my day not that that wasn't good it was but now i have to do these dishes and i have to change before i go to the studio in a little bit <laughs> The vibe is immaculate. I feel amazing. Good morning to my party people. If it looks like I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday, it's because I am. Happy flipping Tuesday, everyone. Yes, I will get better at vlogging, it's dry. To be honest, I know everyone there knows I do YouTube, obviously, and no one would care. In fact, I think people would love it if I vlogged, to be honest, because we all talk about my vlogs. But when I'm there, I just like, I don't know. It's like literally the last thing I think about. And um, I don't know, I will try and get better at it. I absolutely promise. It was really fun last night at Stride. Like the vibe was immaculate because number one, when we came out of, this, of class at 6.15, it was still light out. That was amazing. And it just felt like pre-pandemic, like it really did. It felt like 2019 all over again. The studio was packed and like some clients that I haven't seen in a really long time were there. Oh, which reminds me, I want to email her. So today's Tuesday. Today, what do we have in store? I just have some work things. Um, I'm about to head to the studio in a little bit for like a little meeting. I've been just talking with like all the staff. And then this afternoon, starting at 2.30, I have calls at 2.30, 3.30, and 4.30. And then I'm going back to the studio tonight to talk with one other employee and that's my day. So um, it's a pretty simple day today. On the to-do list, I'm really just doing a lot of um, CIO stuff because we open up in a little over eight weeks, about nine weeks we open which is wild. So um, yeah, I just have to kind of get my ducks in a row with my staff, get them the dates, training dates, all that sort of stuff. In the meantime, um, I'm gonna make breakfast. I got new almond milk for my cappuccinos because I wanted to try a new one other than oat milk and it sucks. It's not a good cappuccino. I also decided that I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day on my Instagram as like a reel. So go check that out if you guys wanna see my meals. So I've had this like, I don't know if I talked about it in this vlog or not, but I have this problem where my foot really hurts. Like I think I have a stress fracture in my foot and I got it once I started training for my half marathon in, um, may which i don't even think i can do at this point because it's just hurting so bad and um oh i went to uh starbucks by the way i got a dirty chai with almond milk because my cappuccino this morning was just so not good um so i think i have a stress fracture which really hurts um so it's it showed up like about two weeks ago so i thought that it was going to be better um but when i went to idaho is when i really started like feeling it hurt um my hair looks like crazy is when i really started feeling it hurting like to walk it hurt in any sort of shoe it hurt 
It actually feels better when I have shoes on because it just keeps my foot flat rather than like, I don't know, it keeps my foot like compressed and flat. So like I was wearing slippers a lot in Idaho and I feel like that really helped it. Um, and I wasn't running because I was like, okay, let me take some time off from running. And that really helped it. But then it started, it doesn't really do it anymore, thank God, because it was a weird feeling. But it started like crunching, like the top of my foot would like crunch. Like you could put your thumb on it and literally feel things moving around inside my foot. So weird, never had that happen before. And I spun last night and it felt fine in the moment, but it's really, really hurting today. So the whole reason I haven't gone to the doctor yet is because I know what they're gonna say. They're gonna say, take four to six weeks, maybe even six to eight weeks off, like rest it, like don't do anything. And I know that they're gonna say that, but I feel like it's worth it to like rest now rather than be dealing with this for like three to four months if I just don't do anything about it now. Um, but I will admit it really freaking hurts. So I think I'm gonna call the doctor now and get that scheduled. I do have, it's a morning, it's early though, it's an eight. That's fine, I can do that. Hell yeah. All right, so I'm going tomorrow. All right, so I have that tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to that, even though I'm nervous about what he's gonna say. Yeah, I can do that right now. Um, okay. Well, I don't have the within 30 minutes. cool. Do you need to know like who to make it out to in the address? Yeah, this rocks. I door dashed some sushi, sweet potato roll, avocado roll. It's like fake sushi, but that's besides the point. Edamame and then a ginger salad. This is like my favorite salad in the whole world. This and then a Greek salad are my two favorites. And I'm watching Real Housewives of Miami. And this is heaven. This is living, baby. Hi, you guys. Good morning. I'm on my way to the foot doctor. And I'm excited to get to the bottom of this. I really am. Um, it's so funny because the pain last night, like, pretty much went away. Um, but my foot, like, did this, like, weird thing where I don't want to keep saying that my foot crunches. But, like, that's what, I, that's what it feels like. So it does, like, that weird thing. Um, and it was doing that, but it wasn't hurting. So I was like, oh, maybe I don't need, maybe it's just like comes in waves and it's just something I have to deal with. But then I was like, no, it shouldn't even come in waves at all. Like my other foot is totally fine. It's just my right foot. Um, and then last night when I was sleeping, I woke up in the middle of the night because of like the pain of it. So I gotta get to the bottom of this. Gotta figure it out. I've been in so much traffic, but the pressure that this guy must feel to back this trailer into his home right now with all these lines of traffic, cause there's all that traffic over there and this whole line of traffic he's had to redo it like four times and it's during rush hour i just finished so he pretty much just said that my nerve is angry and he said that i can keep running woohoo and i can like spin i can do everything and he got me anti-inflammatory meds so i'm gonna go pick that up but i'm also gonna stop at the car wash really quick and just get a car wash because it my car is like filthy right now i'm having a freaking morning man I just seen a quick appreciation post for the vibes in here real quick. So much sunshine, so happy, windows open. I slept with the windows open and the air on last night. So it's like getting warmer and look at how just like cute the bedroom looks. Windows open, just such a great vibe. Wow. I need to bring that to my mom's tomorrow, actually, when I go see her. I'm also getting breakfast with my friend, Lindsay, on Friday. We just made the plans this morning, and I am so excited because, um, well, I ordered some, like, swimsuits last night, but Skims is coming out with a swim line. I don't know why they didn't call it Squims, but I'm going to call it Squims. Take six tablets on day one as directed on package and decrease by one tab each day for a total of six days. Oh, my God. That was horrible. 
they like didn't go down but started like dissolving in my mouth and they taste absolutely atrocious Ugh. Ew. <sighs> so anyway okay hang on i have 12 emails hang on so this is something so exciting that has been in the month that has been in the works for the past month or so and it's our new website um it's at stridesmanandfitness.com and it is just this beautiful new website it is just so gorge um you can go to about stride and there's this cute picture of me and jess and it's like a, just a little bit about the studio locations and it brings you to like about phoenixville there's phoenixville how cute is that all of our cute little instructors you take it to sea isle and there's our cute little studio in sea isle it's just so freaking cute all of our instructors are down there it's just like everything so so cute i don't know what is wrong with me but i literally feel like i'm levitating like um, maybe it's because I'm drinking coffee on an empty stomach, but I normally don't feel like this. Maybe it's because of the, um, medication that said might cause dizziness. Maybe that. But I literally feel like I'm levitating right now. Which, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think that I like that feeling after taking six pills. Mephloprednisone is considered, is not considered an addictive drug, nor is it commonly abused. However, this medicine does cause physical dependence and withdrawal because of its effect on the body's endocrine system. I don't think it's a caffeine. I don't know why, but I do. So I just ordered a bunch of things for Stride. I'm getting in like a bunch of new stuff, which is really exciting. We got like new mats, new TRX straps, uh, more weights, new weight rack, a new organization system, like a whole bunch of things, which is really exciting. Um, so I just told the staff like what's coming in. Oh, and we also, oh, I told you guys, but our website got redone. Um, yeah, and now, um, I'm just going to answer a couple of emails. Sorry, I'm back from work. So because of my foot, I haven't been running and I'm literally texting my mom right now. And I'm like, um, I like did it. I'm bouncing off the walls. Like I have so much energy. Like, will I get addicted? She's like, no, it's steroids. Is this, is that, da, da, da. She goes, just go run. Like you'll feel really good running. And I was like, I know. She goes, just do like three or four miles though because you're gonna feel like you can run 10. And I wrote, I wrote, I could run 100 miles right now. She goes, I know. I literally feel like I could go run 100 miles right now. Like I am bouncing off the freaking walls with energy. I have a video to edit, but I literally have all day to do it. But oh, it's 11, 11, make a wish. I wish for this energy all the time. I literally, uh, I'm not kidding. Oh, my mom's going to the dentist right now. Have fun. Um, yeah, I'm just like, I'm bouncing off the freaking walls right now. I'm gonna answer an email, and then I really do need to edit this video. Dots. Oh my god, I have to go to the dentist tomorrow. I've canceled on this dentist like three times, so. So I like, have to go. Mmm, so good. Every day I put my little tripod away. It's not even a tripod, I'll show you what I use. I use a candelabra. Wow, I am in a sleepy mood. But you know what, I think it's warranted today because it's gloomy and raining outside. So I'm allowed to have that vibe. I'm gonna make a cappuccino. I got a new almond milk yesterday. I'm trying it again with almond milk because I really wanna, I don't know, I saw this thing that was like, Oat milk isn't superior because, well, I love the taste of it, but it makes you crash apparently because it's like high sugar or high carb. I don't know. I saw something on like Instagram and normally anytime I see anything on Instagram that has to do with like food advice or health advice, I literally turn the other way. But I read this and I'm not believing it, but I just want to see if I feel a difference. And if I don't, I'm going to just go back to drinking oat milk. Um, but that's why I'm trying out almond milk. Like I had almond milk yesterday, but I crashed yesterday, but I also think it's because of the steroids, which I have to take more of today. Sometimes when you like heat milk, it gets like kind of weird. You know what? Maybe I should see between 150 and 150. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to put on 
Yesterday's Gals on the Go onto my TV. Um, I've been like loving putting podcasts on my TV and I'm really in a huge obsession right now with the morning toast, which I never used to listen to the morning toast. And then my friend Lindsay and her sister Lauren, we were out to dinner with them um, in my last vlog and they're like, do you watch the morning toast? And I was like, no. And they're like, oh my God, you guys have to get on it. Lindsay's also the one who I talked about yesterday and I'm getting breakfast with her tomorrow. Um, and Squims drops tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. I have to record my podcast. Um, I have therapy at two. I have the dentist at three. I have to get a contract notarized at four. And then I have, I'm going to stride tonight and I'm taking a boxing class at 5.30. And then I'm talking with one of my employees at 7.15. Um, but I really just have to do podcasting. I have to get a new license. And it's St. Patrick's Day. It's St. Patrick's Day. Such a gloomy day here in New York, but we're about to bring the heat. We're gonna bring the sunshine with Tyler C. Let the sunshine. What song is that? Let the sunshine. I think that's what it's called. By the Sunshiners. Oh, I also got this new candle yesterday. I'm having big deja vu, but I, I got this new candle yesterday and it's so good. Um, I went out to dinner and then um, I just like stopped by TJ Maxx and just got a bunch of candles. Great job. And so good. Almond milk does the weirdest so froth. Like, like her first minute on Housewives, that was weird. Yeah, that's. It, it really just depends on like how the person died and like whether it was a tragic. Yeah, no one's taking shots. Not good. Sadly, you know, like a shiva, like something suddenly passed. Yes, but like not good. Mother, Oat milk is just so much better tasting. Jenny, um, and I could do regular yeah, milk, but no, I don't love regular milk in my coffee. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna eat a little bit. Um, I'm really hungry. <sighs> so I'm gonna eat, eat, and then podcast. Oh my god. You guys just had to take the stupid steroids again. It, it's so horrible. I did my podcast, went great. It was current favorites, so that's going up 321, which depending on when this goes up, it's either tomorrow or it's already up. Now starts my big long list of things that need to get done. And I won't be home until like 8 p.m. tonight. So, what a therapy. Therapy, dentist, notary, studio. Right, which is a crime, but it's not a violent crime. So he's out of prison and he's... Okay. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. It's supposed to be a beautiful Friday. In addition to it just being Friday. Yesterday, okay, these steroids are really getting me down. To be honest, I'm only... I'm going to start taking them at night. Because I just get in like such a daze and such a fog. Like I can't even, honestly, I can't even think straight. And I can't even like stay awake. I just fall asleep. Like I was supposed to go to the studio last night and I had to, oh, and my foot still really hurts. Like that's the problem. Like my foot was absolutely throbbing after I took the steroids yesterday. Like it really, really hurt. So I was supposed to go to the studio and take a class and like meet with one of my staff members but I rescheduled just because of how these steroids are just absolutely killing me. So I'm gonna start taking them at night in hopes that that stops happening because it's honestly just like really killing my vibe. Um, I just put on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm obsessed with it right now. And this is the Kosas Under Eye Revealer. Or no, Under Eye concealer not revealer 
Um, but today is Friday. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be 74 degrees today. Uh, it's going to be so sunny today. This is the Kosas Cloud Set um, pressed powder. But yeah, it's going to be 74 and sunny today. Just going to be such a gorgeous day. Skims swimsuits dropped today. Squims. So I have what I want. It feels like reminiscent of like a Kylie lip kit drop. I have not cared this much about a Kardashian drop since the lip kits that I don't think I, I think they sold out. I didn't get the first drop. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder foundation in medium. It's like the best. I'm going to breakfast with my friend Lindsay and I'm so excited. One, because we're going to this place called First Watch. It's like one of my favorite breakfast places because they have really good food, but they have really good iced coffee. Not many breakfast places around me have like really good iced coffee. Um, there's one other that I can think of, but to only think of two places with good iced coffee along with a good breakfast, step it up. This is the um, Fenty Beauty cheek highlighter that I use like all the time. I have a brush on my face today won't come off there we go um but yeah this is just like super easy makeup so i'm going to breakfast with my friend Lindsay. i woke up this morning at like 6 45 and i've just been doing some work it's about 9 a.m now so it's almost time for me to head out and then after breakfast i am going to the studio i have a training this afternoon and um what else i have a call this afternoon at two i have a training i have a call and then i'm chatting with one of my employees uh this week of my life has been very much so apartment oriented like i don't really bring the camera outside of the apartment and i apologize for that i'm going to work on that honestly i just feel really awkward vlogging in public and I wish I didn't because I want more stuff. But at the same time, a lot of things that I vlog are like work or stride related. Kind of like I said earlier, like obviously people at stride know I do this. But I just don't want to like, hello? I just don't want to like bother them. I know you're supposed to use natural deodorant. So I got native. Please let me know if anyone else experiences this. When I use native deodorant, my underarms hurt so bad. Like they get really like dry and really, really patchy. And to be honest, they just hurt really, really bad. And it's like the weirdest feeling ever. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. So this cropped zip up is from forever 21 this is from amazon this is linked on my amazon shop and i'll also link a bunch of this stuff below these yoga pants flared leggings as the kids say are from aloe i think they're so cute and i'm just wearing platform converse all white and yeah that's my little outfit just super cash super it's 70 degrees today, kind of vibe. I'm just gonna open the windows. All right guys, I'll either see you at breakfast or it's dried or back here. You guys, I am officially the worst weekly vlogger ever considering it is now Sunday and I did not vlog anything on Friday, but I will put in clips of what I was doing on Friday and Saturday that I took like a bunch on my phone. Um, and then I'm also going to end this vlog because I'm going to start a new vlog today. I'm going to do like a whole Sunday reset vlog and I'm going to do another week in my life. Um, so you guys will see a lot more and you guys will see what I'm doing today too in the Sunday reset vlog that's going to go up soon. I don't know. I'm going to try and upload every single Sunday and have like Sundays be my upload day. So we'll see how that turns out but i'm gonna try my best because if i do the sunday reset vlog this is me thinking out loud if i do my sunday reset vlog today then i can edit that on like wednesday or thursday get that up for this sunday that i'm ahead and i can edit always on like tuesday nights 
or Wednesdays during the day. And that sounds like a really good schedule. So this will put me ahead of schedule, which is amazing. Friday was so nice. Um, the weather I thought was like literally beautiful. So my mom and I went to go tour um, houses just for, for funsies. Um, so that's what we were doing all day. So I was running back and forth from like touring houses and going to stride for meetings and stuff. And I'm always looking for houses. Like obviously I'm in an apartment now, but I don't plan on being in this apartment forever. And my lease is up, not for a while. It's up in January of 2023. So like I'm here like through the rest of this year. Um, but then after that, I kind of need to figure out like what I'm going to do afterwards. So I always look, I always keep my options open. So I was looking at these houses. These are like new construction and I'm really picky too with like where I want to go. I love just more space. Like I'm in a one bedroom now and it's a great apartment. Like I have so much space here, even though it's one bedroom and I have great amenities, like no rush getting out of here. But obviously I don't want to live here for the rest of my life so i always keep an eye out and i always look um so that's what i did on friday and these are some of the videos just like looking through the houses they were so cute i really really liked them um and then i was just running back and forth from here to stride and then yesterday which was saturday was a really fun day because i had two spin classes to teach that day i taught 10 and 11 at 10 i taught a euphoria theme ride with chelsea and at 11 i taught a taylor swift ride with janine and the uh the taylor swift ride with janine was literally like one for the books it was amazing because we put on the 10 minute all too well um you know song and the entire room was screaming it from the top of their lungs and it was just in a dark room we were all yelling it it was so iconic like it's a ride that i will truly never forget so to have a euphoria ride back to back with the taylor ride was like the best way to start a saturday ever we just like set up some stuff at stride and then um went back to tour some houses and went back down to downtown phoenixville um for some drinks and food i've been really into chicken quesadillas this week and i'm gonna or lately um, and I used to never order quesadillas, but I've been getting a lot of chicken quesadillas lately So I'm gonna try and make chicken quesadillas this week, too And have that as like a lunch. I think that'd be a really great lunch and yeah, that brings me to right now So I'm gonna cap off this vlog. Thank you guys for watching this work from home with me Even though I don't vlog outside of my apartment. I'm gonna get better at it. I promise. Okay guys. Love you have the best day ever and Hopefully I'll talk to you guys next Sunday. But I do upload new videos every Monday for Manifest and new episodes every Monday for Manifest. You guys can always watch that. But hopefully every Sunday I'm going to put out a new video. Love you guys. Bye.